cleaning up. We are not open. We had a uh, water main break. If you're craving your favorite from Hathaway's Diner, you'll have to wait. All orders are on hold. But don't blame the waitress or the cooks. This one is on Mother Nature. One of the pipes connected to the sprinklers burst Monday afternoon. It took hours to find the right shutoff valve in Carew Tower as water flooded the restaurant. General Manager Steve Snyder says his heart sunk when he got a call from the owner. He said, you're not going to believe this. He goes, I think we're done. He was worried that it was, it was a financial ruin. The aftermath is far from pretty, but not as costly as initially feared. But for the workers, missing out on a few days' work can be tough. The servers don't get tips. Cooks don't come in. Yeah, so they're all missing out, you know, right after the holiday. Employees have been mopping and scrubbing for the last two days. A couple of them that are here helping us today weren't even scheduled to be one of the workers today. But we called them in to say, hey, you know, can you help us out? I'm going on my uh, 20th year. Daryl Thomas is a chef here and wanted to help out. This place has raised my children, it's raised my grandchildren, and it's raised my great granddaughters. Uh, it's everything. Doing whatever it takes to start taking and making orders again. And we're going to put it back together because that's what we do. Good food served fast. All right, Hathaway's is still assessing the extent of the damage, but they plan to reopen tomorrow at 8 a.m. for regular business hours. I also checked in with Cincinnati Public Schools here. I'm told that Midway Elementary and the School of Creative and Performing Arts both had pipes burst as well, but maintenance is on it. They plan and expect students to be able to go back to class on time January 3rd. Reporting live to Tara McGee, WNWT News 5. Tara, thanks.